Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video and another day of the Shape Row Marathon, which I'm having so much fun with you guys. Today's video, I kind of wanted to do a I don't feel like putting on makeup makeup tutorial. <laughs> Just speaking for myself right now, it's really easy right now for me to feel super duper lazy. Obviously, we're stuck inside. And at the same time, you know, this kind of self-isolation thing, I know it can get really hard on some people. I mean, on everybody, it's getting hard, of course. But I know for me personally, if I wasn't challenging myself to do this monthly marathon or this, you know, April marathon, it would be very easy for me to just kind of like withdraw and not put on makeup, not change my clothes, not go outside. It's just my personality if I'm super isolated. I will kind of bug out in that nature. So I don't worry about maybe anyone else who kind of feels that way. It kind of feels pointless. And you know what, maybe it kind of is pointless to do makeup right now. But it's also kind of not because it makes you get up and it makes you maybe feel okay about yourself. You know what I mean? So this might not be the most amazing makeup I've ever done. It might look like shit. But it's something to get me up something to get me moving something to just get me out of bed in a depressive state. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of doing this video for anyone else out there who feels like me and maybe needs someone in the back of their head saying like, come on girl, get up. Even if it's just to put on stupid makeup, let's get out of this funky state. You know what I mean? So, so everything is pretty minimal, fast, nothing crazy. First to start off, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. And feeling lazy, just gonna use my Soul Kabuki brush. This is in the shade Light 6W, by the way. I really like it for my tone. I mean, I think it's pretty close anyway. And how are you guys? I wanna check in, you know, leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I'm doing fine. I'm very worrisome, getting a little anxious. It's getting a little hard to sleep at night, which is something I know about myself when uh, things are out of my control. I don't do real well with that. And I start to not go to bed. My insomnia comes back. I'm up all night, which is horrible for my health. It triggers all that BS you guys know I'm dealing with. So I need to stop doing that. <sighs> this week, I think I'm going to start uh, maybe taking baths before I'm supposed to go to bed. And maybe that'll help like relax me and get me into bed. Cause it's, just, I don't know, things just feel so crazy right now. And weirdly enough, mentally, and this might've been just dumb of me, I didn't expect to be feeling weird. I don't know how to put some things into words sometimes, but I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm saying. Because I have a look and I have my kitties. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll be fine. But then I'm like, oh, well, I haven't seen my family or my friends. My dad has pneumonia, so I'm really worried about him you know, and then it's Easter this weekend and we lost my grandfather um, on, not on Easter, close to Easter, my dad's dad, uh, many, many moons ago, like when I was a kid, but I know that's always a hard day. So it's always my number one priority to be with him on Easter. And I'm just so upset that I won't be able to be there this year. So I don't know, it's just, it's hard, isn't it? It's just hard. But let's try to look on the brighter side right now. My dad's okay. Hopefully you guys are all okay. We live to see another day. We just need to keep our spirits up and stay hopeful. I'm kind of like just talking to myself as I'm talking to you guys. It's kind of just messages I'm giving myself. I know that I'm doing that. I'm annoying. Next, I'm gonna take the Benefit Do the Hula Bronzer. This is that liquidy one. And I, oh no, oh, I almost dropped my brush. Okay, I'm gonna take the edge of this sole foundation and I don't need much, but I like a little color in the cheeks or else I, you know, I don't feel good. I'm someone who just looks like super dead if I don't have much color in the face. So I just kind of want to melt this in with a tinted moisturizer. I also want to thank you guys for all your requests coming in um, for my Shape Roll Video Marathon. Tomorrow I'm filming with the Jackie Ina palette. That is a big request. Um, a lot of Too Faced like chocolate bars or like strawberry bar, pink bar. I don't remember what the hell that bar is. A lot of Too Faced palette requests. Still getting a lot of Urban Decay. I saw uh, Urban Decay Born to Run a lot. Definitely will have that coming up. But thank you guys. You were making this so much fun for me to like dig into my collection and be like, oh yes, I still have this. Thank God. It's really fun rediscovering it. I feel like that, I mean, it added some. I don't think it's as much as I wanted. And as I recall, I did think there was a reason why I didn't love this. And I think it's because as a bronzer lover, it's not enough for me, <laughs> but we're gonna try to make it work. I think it is nice though for like just a tinted moisturizer type of day. Sometimes it's refreshing to like just see your skin through foundation, isn't it? I wear so much like full coverage foundation all the time that like it feels good to just kind of see yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Next for blush, this is the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks blush. Why was that so hard for me to say? Peach My Cheeks? Yes, Peach My Cheeks. I really liked these when they came out and then I never really used them again. Oh, this is like super pinky. Oh, I'm nervous. We'll try it. I wanted something a little more peachy, but it looks more pink than peachy to me. Oh, and a little goes a long, long way. Okay. Might have to fix that up with some tinted moisturizer. I did not want that much. Or maybe I did. 
I don't know. If you guys are wearing makeup at all right now, let me know what your staples are since we're not really doing much. What have been your go-to items? Is it like a BB cream? Just something simple like a tint of moisturizer? Just moisturizer? Or are you still doing like a full coverage glam? If you are, I applaud you. <laughs> oh, I forgot how good this smells. It smells so good. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of my Flower Beauty Concealer. Not a whole lot, but just to kind of help with the dark circles. I'm re-watching Orange is the New Black and oh my god it's such a good show but I was like not ready to relive the pain again I don't know why I started it I mean I told you guys this in a past video that the whole cafeteria scene just happened and now I don't want to spoil it for anyone even though if you haven't seen it by now what are you doing you know but things are just getting so hard I'm so worried about so many people oh my god just a little concealer makes me feel like so much better about life if I could only have one makeup item for the rest of my life even though it's like not my favorite blush is my favorite I think practically I would have to choose concealer because it just oh, it fixes everything you know I feel so much better about myself with a little concealer I just want to take like the slightest bit of setting powder nothing crazy like no baking or anything like that but just enough to set my under eyes so they're not creasing all day I'm going for that natural look today this is refreshing I was so worried this is gonna be like a really pointless video because there's no point in watching like a no makeup look to me, except I feel really good about it. I feel good being able to see my own skin for like the first time in a makeup tutorial in like the longest time. I need to give full coverage a break sometimes, I think. I don't know why I like have it ingrained in my brain that I must have a flawless foundation and bronzer and contour and blush and highlighter all the freaking time. It's really nice to see your own skin sometimes through makeup. Society is ruining me. Ugh. Now, a little glow is a great way to fix any case of the grumpies. This is Lit by Milk Makeup. I wanted to do a cream because, you know, they tend to look a little more natural. Well, depending on application and which cream. <laughs> because some of my cream highlighters are like, wowza. But I just want like, just like, oh, just like that. A nice subtle glisten. I am so excited for this next part because one thing I don't get to do enough is play with my Super Shock shadows. Specifically because ColourPop is usually launching so freaking much that I can't keep up and I can't ever just play because the time I want to do, you know, a tutorial with the latest collection, the next collection is launching launching and it's just like too much. So I'm so excited to just play with old Super Shock Shadows right now. Uh, this one is from, it was like the Butterfly Collection. I don't remember what the exact name of the collection was, uh, but this is Force Behavior and oh, she just looks like such a beauty. I had to get my hands on this today. Please don't be dried out. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh, it's still workable. Okay, cool. Let's pop this on like the front half. Oh, so pretty and subtle. Well, not really subtle, very shimmery, but like there's not a lot of color to it. It's kind of like a pinky iridescent color. Can I tell you guys like a bad addiction of mine? First of all, I have a very addictive personality and this quarantine is not helping. So I wanna warn anyone else who is like me, okay? I have a bad addiction to mobile phone games. In particular, Pokemon Go, Obby, Candy Crush, of course. I have a few cross stitching and puzzle games that I also play, but my big, my big one, the one that like I hide at the back of my phone behind all my apps so that hopefully sometimes I forget about it, cooking craze. Oh my God. Last night was the worst thing I could have ever done. I got on a cooking craze binge and I played until 4 a.m. and I need to not do that. It's very hard for me to control my mobile game playing especially when I can't leave the house. So tonight I'm gonna try to watch, I'm gonna try to watch it, I'm gonna try not to go so cooking crazy, you know? Uh, let's take a uh, ColourPop Fade In Super Shock Shadow, lovely warm brown. I just need to be mindful, like, because I can just be playing, it'll be like nine and I'll just be playing a few rounds, just like last night. And then I look up at the time and it's 4 a.m. Like, oh my God, is anyone else kind of dealing with this right now? Have you picked up any like weird habits since you're stuck at home that's kind of like taking over your life? Cause that's mine. I'm just kind of trying to marry these into each other a bit. Again, this might not be the best makeup I've ever done. I kind of just needed to sit and like be with you guys right now because I'm just kind of going crazy in my brain. I've had to officially stop watching the news because I can't handle any more stories, any more horrific things. It's gonna start getting to me. So I'm glad that we have this this agreement that through April we will be together through the weekdays because it gives me something to do hopefully it keeps you guys you know going not that I hate everything I'm saying it's not coming the way it's not coming out the way I want it to come out I just don't want anyone to feel alone or super depressed is all because I am right there but 
we're gonna try to work around it. I'm going back into forced behavior. Tomorrow morning, I've decided, tomorrow morning I'd really love to go on a little jog around the lake that's in front of my house. Not many people run around it, which I think is crazy. There are a lot of bugs, <laughs> so that makes sense. And the geese sometimes get a little aggressive when you run past them. I think I need to do that. I think I need to, I know I can't go like out, out into the world, but I think I need to take a few laps. You know what I mean? So you still kind of feel like you're not trapped. Is this like the weirdest video ever? I promise I'm not having a breakdown. I promise. I feel like everything I'm saying is making it sound like I'm about to implode, but it's not. It, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. We're cool. Okay, I'm gonna take, uh, this is the NARS eyeliner in the shade Mambo. I do love this liner, but just take any brown eyeliner you have at home. It does not have to be NARS. Though I do love their liners, but just saying. Don't feel the need to have to have a NARS liner. And I'm gonna smudge that into my lashes just with my finger. I'm loving like the lack of tools used in this video. It's nice just using your finger sometimes. Do you guys know of any, like what's a game two people can play together? I want Alok and I to do like a weekly game night or maybe like a Wednesday and a Friday night game night just to kind of keep, you know, things fun. But I don't know many games you can play that are only two players. Also, I'm really trying not to place many like orders like Amazon orders right now or anything because I think those poor delivery drivers are so overwhelmed and I don't want to add to any problems they might be having by, by just like ordering games. You know what I mean? I feel bad. I think we should just all suggest ways on how we're keeping each other sane. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe just leave comments on how you and your spouse or your friend or your partner or family are keeping each other sane. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing in your homes. And then of course to make a like I had more sleep than I really did. I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner. This is ColourPop's uh, Honey Dude. And I'm just gonna run that on my waterline. Is anyone watching a uh, 90 Day Fiance right now? All I can say is Yolanda, poor Yolanda. My heart is just breaking for Yolanda. Again, I don't, I don't wanna give it away, but my heart is so hurt for her. That poor girl is so confused. And she, you can tell she's just a sweetheart. She doesn't deserve everything. I'm taking a little more of that eyeliner, the brown NARS one, Mambo, underneath my eye. Smudgy, smudgy. This is helping me more than anyone could know. Before I started filming this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really don't feel like doing makeup. And now that I'm like doing it, I swear to you, it's just like weight lifted. I just feel so good knowing I'm making a video. I'm gonna talk to you guys soon in the comments. It's gonna be freaking awesome. If you're not feeling good at home, go play play, create something amazing. Also, if you've been waiting for a moment to finally start your YouTube channel, your Instagram, your TikTok, what other moment are you waiting for than right now? You have no excuses now. Start it now. <laughs> Try to take this time to do something we've been putting off for a long, long time. For me, that's organizing my closets. <laughs> I hope to do tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just putting on a little mascara. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, but again, any mascara is fine. We do not need Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I really like it. Don't get me wrong. I actually think I will buy one. This was sent to me. They just sent over a little package of a few things. I'm not like on their PR list or anything, but after trying it, I think I really actually would purchase one. And a little on the lower lash line. Now for the lips, a little lip liner always makes me feel great. This is the Laura Mercier Rosewood. I did use this recently, but I'm just gonna stick with it. I love this lip liner. It's like kind of peachy. And then on top of that, let's just lip moment. This is the Jouer Lip Enhancing Conditioning Treatment. I don't know how enhancing it is, but it feels good. And then one quick spritz, not really even to make it last, but just because it like completes it for you, you know? I was worried this makeup was gonna be garbage because I was kind of just pulling random crap that I really wanted to put on, not really worrying about if it was gonna go together or not. And I actually really like it, so yay. I know this video was like nothing educational, nothing probably even worth watching, but I appreciate you guys being here with me today, making me feel a little normal, just getting me in a groove and excited to do makeup after the weekend. It's Monday, by the way, when I'm filming this. So it was a little hard to come back to this. I don't know why. I'm just, you know, things are just weird right now. This feels good. I'm really excited for tomorrow because I'm going to be using the Jackie Ina palette. I can't find that one. It's around here somewhere. Yes, the Jackie Ina palette tutorial will be coming tomorrow, I believe. A lot of requests for that one, which I'm so excited about because I do not think it got enough time to be just like focused on. It is such an amazing palette. It did not get enough credit and I cannot wait to use that next and I promise more glam like serious good makeup looks coming later this week I'm sorry this one is just kind of bleh but I feel bleh but I still wanted to be here with you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry I'm a mess I'm in a weird place but everything is fine I love you and I will see you guys in my next video which is tomorrow oh my god bye